My journey through Judaism is a very interesting one because it brought me closer to Islam, my own faith. And I felt that the Islamic community did not understand a lot about Jewish history, uh, what had happened to the Jews, and the focus was only on Israel in 1948. So I took it upon myself to sort of journey through the issues and create some positive and optimistic stories about Muslims in the Holocaust. I do a lot of work at the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum, and through that I found a lot of archive material of Muslims, and Arabs especially, in internment camps with Jews, and I thought that was fascinating. I had never heard of that. And one of the things that I talk about in the article on the Holocaust and the Muslims is how there were Muslims and Jews in a camp with Christians, and how the officer there, who was a Vichy officer, and these camps were really devised by the Vichy government under the Nazi regime, wanted to put together the Arabs and Jews because he was convinced they were going to kill each other. And there's a whole story and memoir I found that actually contradicts that completely, where it says the Arabs and the Jews helped each other, not just like friends, but like brothers. And it was an amazing piece of information. And there are many, many stories that are still untold about the Holocaust and Muslims' role in the Holocaust in terms of positive stories, stories of optimism, stories of rescue. Farabar's um, Mohtari wrote a book called Iranian Schindler. It's a fascinating book looking at how a man in Iran rescued hundreds of Jewish Iranians by proving that they were under a mosaic law. So what he tried to do was change the idea that they were Semitic, that they were actually mosaic. People of Moses, but not necessarily Semitic. And the way that he, he did this kind of research and work was amazing. And he convinced the Nazis that hundreds of Jewish um, Iranians could be free. The Holocaust is a very sensitive topic. I mean, right now we are in 2014. Um, Gaza is being um, attacked by Israel. Israel is being attacked by Hamas. Um, the language right now of anti-Semitism is very disturbing. This is a very challenging road that I've taken. Um, the Holocaust is sensitive to me because it was such a colossal event. I believe, as a scholar and, and in terms of uh, an ethical Muslim, that if we don't speak out for one another, then we can't speak for our own community. And so for, for me, this, these kinds of works, these stories of rescue, whether for, from Iran or whether from Tunisia, whether from um, even Egypt, uh, whether from Albania, are very important because it links the humanity of Jews and Muslims. And it, it kind of erodes the idea that we are other. Um, to speak up for one another, to rescue one another, even if one is not related or is from the same faith, is extremely important work today. Mm -hmm.